A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Luke chapter 4 verses 38 to 44 passage taken from the message version of the Bible He left the meeting place and went to Simon's house Simon's mother-in-law was running a high fever and they asked him to do something for her He stood over her told the fever to leave and it left Before they knew it she was up getting dinner for them When the sun went down everyone who had anyone sick with some ailment or other brought them to him One by one he placed his hands on them and healed them Demons left in droves screaming Son of God you are the son of God but he shut them up refusing to let them speak because they knew too much knew him to be the messiah he left the next day for open country but the crowds went looking and when they found him clung to him so he couldn't go on he told them don't you realize that there are yet other villages where i have to tell the message of god's kingdom that this is the work God has sent me to do Meanwhile he continued preaching in the meeting places of Galilee The gospel of the Lord Reflections on the gospel according to St Luke chapter 4 verses 38 to 44 We continue to read from the account of Evangelist Luke about Jesus spending a Sabbath day in Capernaum. After driving out an ugly demon from a person in the synagogue and refusing even to have any dialogue with the evil powers, Jesus moves to the house of Peter. Father Arbelini would explain this act of Jesus moving from the synagogue to the house of Peter as a symbolic gesture for the community of Luke the house of Peter is a symbol of the house of the disciples of Jesus that is the church Jesus walks in and first heals the woman suffering from a fever the church has its own fevers and illnesses that paralyzes it from getting up and being at the service of others anything that makes us lazy or prevents us from being at the service of others is a fever that forces us on the bed being in the church if we refuse to be at the service of others it is an indication that we are sick and we need an urgent healing For the church to move on with its mission of healing the wounds of the world it needs to be healed of its own fevers in the first place Therefore when Jesus walks into the house of Peter his first action would be to bring healing to the fevers of those within the household Once healed of her fever Peter's mother-in-law would get up immediately and she moves on with her mission of serving them all the people who were sick with various illnesses were brought to the house of peter seeking a healing touch of the lord it is also a symbol of the sick world that stands before the church in need of the healing touch the church shares the mission of christ to bring healing to the world He laid his hands on each of them and cured them says the gospel Nobody is excluded from the mercy and grace of Christ and this is our mission too Demons as they did in the synagogue earlier continue their trade here too shouting you are the son of God But Jesus wouldn't fall into their trap of soliciting any public applause or adulations once the mission is completed 
he does not stay there any longer. Despite the plea of the people, Jesus moves on to other places. Here is a lesson to learn for the missionary church. Our mission is to be on the move in service of God's people and not to be stationed in the comforts of places where we are appreciated and accepted.